This is Kuala Basut. If you're a tourist, you'll know it as the little fishing village you go to to hop on a boat to pull up Perhentian. If you're local, you might have heard of it, but might not have been able to point it on a map until a week ago. Because there's a by-election, and not just any by-election, one just after two months of the most fiercely fought general election. This small town has been launched into the stratosphere, fueled by the enthusiasm of the press alone. And we haven't even factored in the excitement from the politicians. Usually when we talk about the 1%, it's in socio-economic terms. We imagine people who drive around in Bentleys and own properties in Monte Carlo. But in Kuala Basut, it's a different story. Kuala Basut is home to over 17,000 voters, but here's what's interesting. Over 99% of them are Malay. The 1% here are the Chinese. This makes for a pretty interesting electorate. Meet Ong. He's been living here since 1959. <laughs> There's little over 100 Chinese folks in Kuala Basut, and if you were to talk to some over the phone, you won't really be able to tell. How important is this by-election to this community? Ini kan, ini siapa menang pun serupa lah. Kita satu orang rakyat, sungguh bukan kata. Barisan menang kita pun kena bisnes. Pas menang kita pun serupa. Itu sajalah. For the local jeweler, he has priorities, but it's neither pass nor BN. If we change the government or not change the government, we will be the same. If we can change the government, it will be good. It's the same. Whatever the outcome is after the poll closes on the 24th of July, with over 99% of the electorate being Malay, it's not going to be a Chinese tsunami. Prasad Michael, KNE TV.